Good morning. We're just we're doing like a roundhouse back here. It just continues to come. If there's anybody else, just line up. We'll, we'll take care of it. Absolutely. My name is Stephen. I'm the associate pastor here. And uh, this morning, it is my pleasure to introduce you to one of my friends. We've been getting to know each other over the past two months. His name is Joe Mari, and I connected with the church uh, just you know on a journey himself about the Lord uh, coming to him, and uh, you know we went out for coffee and uh, got to know each other. Yeah, come on in, Joe. Absolutely. And Joe's going to share a little bit about his life. Baptism is so wonderful, isn't it? To just see how people come and they see what God is doing in their lives and want to take that next step. And so even for you as you're sitting there, I don't know, Pastor Rob has already made this appeal, but uh, think about it. Send me an email. We'll go out for coffee and chat it through. Joe, why don't you share with us a little bit of what God's doing in your life? I came ready to talk really loud today microphone so change as always the plan changes a bit once uh, once you find out what God's put in front of you and decide to take it uh, I've been looking for God and God's been looking for me for a really long time and um, some hard things have happened lately um, but I think if you get through them there's some there's some important people I want to Make pay attention right now, like Marcus, Mary, my son. There you are. Oh, you're awake now. And there's Tess and Mary, my daughter, and Hannah, Mary, my eldest daughter. Uh, I want them to be here to see what happens when you let Jesus in the door, let him into your heart, and get the Spirit. It was really startling when I got the Spirit. It was January. I was walking in the rain, and I was just rolling things over in my in my mind and trying to make sense of it and then it occurred to me that this was the gift that Jesus gave us he died and came back to life so that we could have the Holy Spirit and connect to God the Creator and it hit me at like a point of light in the heart I didn't even know what it was hardly except to say this is different this has changed and since that day um, I'm not I'm not any less a sinner in a sense, but I know what to do with that now. And I know that I can get through this. I will get through this. God has a plan for me to prosper me, not to harm me. And I can follow his law because it's a perfect law. To love the Lord my God with all my heart and all my soul and all my mind. And the second rule is to treat my neighbors, those around me, the way I would treat myself. And then the details of the law I'm going to go on learning as I keep getting into Scripture deeper and deeper because you can never get too deep into the Scriptures. But it all starts with that one basic law that I'm really excited to be following now. And uh, it's, it's been 40 years of not following it, and uh, things are working a lot better already. So that's uh, I'm grateful for that. I've got some questions for you. Do you confess that Jesus Christ is your Lord? And he died on the cross and rose on the third day, and is coming back to bring you into eternity. I do. And do you today make the commitment to follow him in humility to walk with him all the rest of your days? I do. Thank <laughs> you. 